Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. Um, today you're going to be checking out a video that I did previously. Um, this was on how to hook up your PS3 controller onto your PC and play games with it. So I did this about a year ago and I made around 7,000 views, which is pretty awesome for my channel. Um, and that was about half of my total views I have on, the com on all my channel. So yeah, guys. Um, but today we're going to be doing a remake because um, a lot of people have been having problems with their with the other version I did. So yeah guys, let's get to the video. Okay guys, so for the two physical requirements, we're going to need of course your PS3 controller and your um, your con your cord that came with the actual controller. So we'll get into the hardware requirements. Alright guys, so the two things you guys are going to need is something called Better DS3. There we go, so if you guys, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description. Go ahead and hit this big download button. Download, I was about to say download. Um, but then this is what you want right here, and then the other thing you want is called Motion Joy. So go ahead and download that. I will also leave the link for this in the description. So you guys can go ahead and just drag those to your desktop once you are done. Now, um, first off, we're going to go ahead and get the Better DS3 out. Go ahead and drag it to your desktop. It's just that one single file. Um, so yeah, it's pretty small. And then the Motion Joy. Um, you can go ahead and drag this out also. Now, um, Motion Joy, however, does require internet to be able to be played. So we're going to go ahead and double click that. Unless you can um, get the internet files and download them. Them. That's what I've done. So go ahead and install this. Um, but once, you've, once you're done, go ahead and open Better DS3. Alright, so now is where you would plug in your uh, PS3 controller. Alright guys, so I have this USB extender thing right, right here that I'm going to be plugging my cord into. So let's go ahead and grab my cord. And if I can do this with one hand, let me, let me just set this down really fast, guys. So yeah, we can go ahead and just plug these two in together. There you go. And now once you've done that, you can go ahead and plug in your PS3 controller. You see, um, holding the camera and doing this at the same time is really hard. There we go, I got it. So now that you see that the lights will light up, if I can turn the exposure down. There we go. The lights lit up. And yeah, so as you see on the computer, that came up, but that may not come up for your first time. This is where people have been having problems. So we're going to get to that. Okay, guys, so um, this is where people have had problems. Like I said, um, mo this would not come up whenever you plugged it in. So this comes up for me because I've already installed the drivers. However, we're going to do this by opening up Motion Joy. Here we go. Now um, it'll take you directly to this page, and we're going to go to Driver Manager. Hit yes. You guys can't see that, but it says, do you want to do this? Hit yes. Make sure you do that, though. Um, go to Driver Manager, and then you'll see this thing right here. Now if I unplug it, if I unplug it, it goes away. And then if I plug my PS3 back, my PS3 controller back in, it comes up. So that is telling me that it's that comp that that PS3. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and click the check right there, and then hit load driver. So it'll load for a few seconds, and there you go, it is complete. So you now have the drivers. Go ahead and hit profiles, and here um, you can either do this next step through this program or this program so um, don't worry about that error that comes up for me and it still works so you don't really need to worry about that um, but yeah so once your drivers have loaded you can go ahead and exit motion joy and here we are in better ds3 so now what we're going to want to do here you want to go ahead and select your uh, dualshock uh, usb and go ahead and hit new um, x input it'll bring this page up um, and now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and right here just click Autofill Xbox 360. Okay, so what this does, it makes the computer think that you're using um, an Xbox 360 when you're actually using a PS3 controller. So it's pretty awesome. Now something I like to do guys, um, for, your, for your LEDs on your um, uh, actual uh, controller, you can set a custom uh, sequence to it. So I like to keep these to uh, make sure like whenever I want to know when I'm connected. And to make sure you guys are connected, you can go ahead and hit the vibrate test. And it's vibrating. There we go. So let me see if I can make it a little bit louder. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yeah. It's definitely vibrating. So there you go, guys. Um, now you're going to name your profile. I'll name it YouTube Test. 
I can't spell. There we go. All right, so now once you've done that, go ahead and hit Save Profile down in the corner. And there you go. So now what you want to do, you want to click this and then hit YouTube Test and hit Apply. All right, guys, so as you see there, the sequence that I made for the lights that I designed on the Better DS3 app are now um, showing up on here. So that means your thing is connected. Once you hit the apply button, it is connected and you are ready to play any game you want. So yeah, let's go ahead and load up a game. Now guys, um, you do want to make sure that your game is actually compatible with Xbox 360 controllers. Like any LEGO game usually is compatible with Xbox 360 controllers. What I'm going to be doing now is Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, it's a pretty good game that works with Xbox 360 controllers. Um, so yeah, it's loading up and it's going through that. So we have to wait here for Alright guys, here is the moment of truth. So it says press start. So we're going to go ahead and hit press start. We're going to go ahead and hit start. There we go. And it worked! It worked, guys. So yeah, there you go. Your PS3 controller is fully working on your PC. And yeah. There we go. I can't drive. Oh my goodness. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeet! Oh, man. So close. Alright, guys, so, yep, that kind of proves to you that your game does work. So, look, I can... I can do anything right here. Um... So that kind of proves to you guys that your game does work with your PS3 controller. And yeah, so let's get to the outro. Alright guys, well I had a lot of fun filming this video and crashing the car in Most Wanted. Um, played around for a little bit. I <laughs> can't drive in that game. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know if you guys did. And if anything's not working with you guys, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll do the best that I can to get back to you guys and to be able to um, help fix your problems. And yep, guys, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like, and, and if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.